Hi, I am um, an elementary school teacher and I've been teaching for over 20 years and in those 20 years I've probably taught more than a thousand children and in teaching that many children over that many years I've seen a full range of children in their gender identity and far and away most of the children fall under what I would consider um, pretty typical range. There's boys who are very, very boy-like and there are girls who are very princessy, girl-like, and then there are girls who um, kind of present more like a tomboy or a little more rough and tumble, and boys who present a little more sensitive or a little more artistic, or, but all of that is seen very in the normal range, and children um, both being socialized but also finding their own way and their own path and their own gender identity along, um, along a fairly common spectrum. However, um, there have been three children in my teaching career who I have bumped across who present um, different than what their gender is. Um, one young lady who presented very much as a boy and uh, two young men who presented much more feminine than, than normal or boys generally do. Um, one little boy was four years old and he was actually seeing a speech therapist because he was mixing his pronouns. So when he talked about himself, he said she all the time. When he talked about other boys, he called them she, and other girls, he called them he. And it was very persistent and very consistent. Um, we, I taught him in a four-year-old preschool classroom, and we had all the developmental um, stations and centers, and his favorite center was the playhouse, and he always wanted to be the mom, and he always dressed up with the feminine clothes. And while other boys would come in and try on the high heels, because high heels are just too much fun not to try, and try different kinds of things, it was, it felt unusual with this young man. It actually felt like he couldn't quite figure out why we thought that he was a he instead of a she. And I think that some of the confusion was, had to do with how he felt and how he perceived the world and his place in the world. Um, it was interesting to see something like that with such a young child. There had not been, as far as I know, any unusual things in his home. He came from a two-parent home, a very loving home. Um, it just, things weren't the way his perception of the world was different, or his perception of himself in the world was different. And um, I remember, I remember just watching him and being very, curious about what that meant and, and how that would play out for him over time. Um, unfortunately, he's a student that I didn't get to see past that year, so I don't know further along how that played out for him, but um, it's just something that kind of sticks with you because it was so different than the majority of children that I had seen. I give my permission to have this printed online as part of this, as part of the Gender Stories Project.